Hello there everybody, Dave McCauley here and welcome back to more Let's Play Point of View for the PC. As always, when this episode starts, or when these episodes starts, we head over to the encounters. So let's do just that and start off with Jane. What is she thinking about everything and what's going on in her head? That was so stupid. What was I thinking? If he took my watch or even looked at it, then he probably knows my name. I did not like him. God, I hope Mary's okay. Maybe they're totally in love and they've spent the last 24 hours in bed together somewhere. I hope so. Now look what I've done. We've got a date. I think at po one point I said pocket watch and then uh, like time watch or something in the last episode, but it's a pocket watch. Yeah, so let's get this straight. In my mind, pocket watch, pocket watch, pocket watch. There we go. Okay, what does P have going on in his head? She knew. Somehow she knew. I could tell it was an act. She knew exactly what I was talking about. I don't know what she was doing here, but I intend to find out. And I will. But why? See, this is where the crazy person comes in. Okay, well, you know, whatever. You got played. Just let it go. Move. Oh, excuse me. Move on with your life. Frank. What's going on, bro? I don't know what it is about her. I mean, she's good looking and all, but that's not it. I mean, I've dated good looking women before, and that's not what it's all about. But she's different. Really different. And mysterious. And we've got a date tonight. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna huh, wanna what, I wanna huh, I wanna oh, what? Really, really, really wanna get, get, get ah, I don't know. Jesus Christ! All right, so they have a date tonight. Welcome to Chapter Five. Let's get going here. I don't know if I want to go to this date. I'm conflicted. So conflicted. This should turn into a musical. Wait, did I just poo my pants? Wait, oh. No, the paper. What? Mary. No! Whoa! Whoa! Holy Corbopple, son! Hello? This is Jane, isn't it? Your voice sounds right. You know, from your number, you probably live near Gastown. Oh, it's P. Your neighbors. Maybe I could drop by sometime. Oh, shit. Hi. Yes, my sister hasn't been getting her phone bill. I just want to check on the address, see if you have it right. The name's Jane Bowl. That's uh, B O L E. Oh, he's trying to freak her out now. Wow. Okay. Uh, you may want a bigger night. Oh, and you're still wearing the same outfit! Girl, Jesus! Guys, is this, a, is this supposed to be happening in the same day? If it is, then I apologize, but for Christ's sake. Oh, God! 
but the same outfit. I really don't think it is. Like, oh, I can't peel off. Oh my god! Oh, cut herself. Oh, blood. Oh, she locked herself out. Way to go. Way to go. Oh, Jane. <laughs> you poor soul. Oh, no shoes either. And you're walking around with a knife. Put down the fucking knife! Put the bloods on there. Don't do that. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. But I, how are you so uncareful with a knife? Like, I know you're panicky and everything like that, but I'd still, like, you know, hold a knife properly where it was like, all right, peel it up. Oh, what's up, Pete? Oh, I like that little attention to detail. Her panties were uh, near the um, the ankle, were, um, or the sole of her foot were torn. Is it now? Oh. Oh, we're flashback. Here we go. You don't believe me. No, I didn't say that, Miss Bull. Okay, so it's Jane you, Bull. Much to believe in. The evidence is that Mary Salaski was a suicide. There was no sign of a struggle. Oh, it's not even a flashback. It's like and what's happening now? The, the hell? She wouldn't kill herself. He did something to her. Okay. The black and white effect is so unneeded. You tell me that your friend was killed, and you know who did it, but uh, you don't know his name or anything about him. In fact, you're uh, not even sure if they ever really met, because you never saw them together. They never did meet. Then why was he at my apartment? Well, if we find him, we'll ask him. Miss Bull, we know about New York. We know who you are, or, or were. Shit. Were? What? How? Parking violation show up on the computer, let alone murder trials. Wait, what did she do? Murder trials? I know what you've been through, and maybe the strain is finally getting to you. Oh, she killed that dude! Do some counseling or something. So she killed the dude that... Well, to be honest with you, it doesn't look like it. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna have an officer take you home, and we'll watch your building tonight, okay? What? Like, and really? If this guy uh, placed any ads in the paper, we'll find him and bring him in. How about I stay here in the station, lock me up in a cell, and yeah, that would be good for me. Then I won't be scared. Oh, what's up, Marky Mark? Oh, Janice. I'm dying to meet her. I don't know. It looks like I got stood up. Don't worry. She'll show up. And if she doesn't, maybe you and I can go do something together. Yeah, I've got you covered. I thought we said that that was a bad idea. Oh, you may think. Well, it is bad, but... She's a pretty girl as well. In a good way. Oh, she wants to be bad, I guess. Yep. Wait a minute. Okay, she's still cutting out this shit? I can't get over calling him Mark Wahlberg. Oh my god. Jenny McCarthy... Mark Wahlberg. Ah, oh, just the look of him. Oh no! No, I wasn't able to go to my date! This is so sad! Oh. I'm so brooding. Oh yeah. Where are you? Oh, you've closed all your shutters. Oh, this is terrible. You've also. Oh yeah, he hit it! He hit it good, apparently. Yeah, Janice, how you doing, girl? Man. 
you got you some last night. All right. Well. Yeah, don't worry. You just needed to use me. I'm totally ex I'm okay with this. You just use my body. That's all right. Yeah, it would be a lot easier if you had SHADES! You don't have any fucking shades. Jesus, dude. Shit. Uh, poor Mary. Honestly, Mary didn't deserve any of this crap. More rain in Vancouver, Canada. Surprising. Damn, you look like Mark Wahlberg. Like, right in that shot. That quick shot. Come on, you, you guys can't not admit that. Ugh. By the way, guys, I'm recording this all in one take, so... If I don't see your, uh... Yeah. You guys will know. Shit, Pickle. Wow. Alright. Questionnaire. I don't trust people who view pornography. <laughs> so, like, everybody on Earth? I mean, even if you don't admit to it, you do it. You do it. You do it. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're just a liar. True, totally true. Frank finds Jane's behavior intriguing endearing, suspicious, and shy or coy. Oh, man. Intriguing? Really? He'd find that intri- So far, he's found it intriguing. Yeah, he's found it intriguing. Who is the caller on the phone? It's P. It looked like P. Barnes doesn't have a beard. But it might have been Frank. Shit. Uh, it looked. I mean, the the common consensus said says P. I mean, come on. Frank's girlfriend Carol is unnaturally understanding and sympathetic. I didn't think it was his girlfriend. Girlfriend. I thought it was just hitting it and quitting it. I mean, hit. Girlfriend, that's a little presumptuous. Wow, okay. Um, e yeah, sh she is unnaturally kind of like, yeah, just, it's all right. True. Jane is justified in her concern for Mary. Yeah, because it's her best friend. Why the, f that's another stupid question. I would not want my daughter to marry a musician or paper boy. Man, that's a tough question. I don't have any kids right now. Um, that's really tough. I mean, if they started off with this and they had like huge ambitions, like uh, I'm guess. I'm guessing they're asking, like, a, a musician paperboy. Like, this is their... Two of their jobs right now. Um... I'd be okay with it, as long as he had bigger dreams, and when the time came to doing something else, he would realize that. Yeah, because I'm never... I... I... I can't shut people down from their dreams because I have big dreams so it's not right for me to shut others, other people's dreams down and for me to go yeah I have, I have huge dreams that I'm, I'm going with right now and succeeding with and I had uh, nah. another story for another day false 
Jane is attracted to Frank mostly for his looks, talents, personality, lifestyle. Good question. Hmm. I'm not Jane, so how the fuck am I supposed to know this? I'm gonna say looks, because she, at the, at the time, she only knew him for his looks. Jane needs caller ID, yes, true. <laughs> I would prob probably respond, uh, oh, what? I would probably respond as Jane did. Oh, okay, that's probably respond as Jane did. Um, no, uh, no, false. I trust the police. Yes, I do. I do. I honestly do. I've never had a problem with the police. Uh, the police around here aren't really corrupt. I can see why others would think that uh, within different areas around the country. But here, so far, I have never seen that. They are just awesome people. Frank is a real ladies' man. If he seems to be, man, he just pulls in all the tail. Jane is not handling the crisis very well. Uh, true. Wait, no. Wait, Jane is not handling the crisis very well. She's not handling it well. No, that's true. Why should you? Your friend fucking died. Somebody's trying. There's somebody that supposedly tried to or did kill her. Is calling you and threatening you. True. Men are naturally more promiscuous than men. I don't know the stats on that. I'm gonna say false. People should experiment with multiple sexual relationships before marriage. True. Absolutely. Yes. All right, and we're moving on to the next video. Guys, this has been Let's Play, or another video of Let's Play Point of View for the PC. Depending on how you felt about this video, like or dislike, if you felt it was one of your favorite videos, hit that favorite button. And if you haven't already done so and you like what I do, please subscribe. Also, check out the description below the video for all my social media links. The most important ones are Twitter, be sure to follow me. Facebook, be sure to like that page. And with that said, guys, I'm Dan McCauley. I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Point of View for the PC.